Hello everyone, this is Kartik Silvaraj and in this video 19 of new USB tutorials we will be seeing about database connectors. So let me go into the flow. So I have created a flow by the name HTTP underscore database. So this is a flow. We have an HTTP input which is listening on port 8087 and local host and the URI we are using for this example is db insert. Next we have four session variables. So in this particular example we are going to insert the values that we are passing as query parameters in the HTTP post to the database. So the request would be something similar to this. Let me show you that. So so it, it would be something similar to this. So your first query parameter would be the name and the next query parameter would be your age, next parameter as the country and the next would be your email id. So we have four query parameters and in this particular session variables we are capturing all those query parameters. So this query parameter captures a name, sorry uh, this session variable captures a name and this session variable captures the age, next one the country, next one the email address. So I have created a dummy table by the name participant. So let's consider that uh, there is a competition going on and we need the participants name, age, country and email. So currently the table is em empty, we don't have any records over here. So next we have a logger so which gives you all the uh, session variable values which we have extracted from the query parameters next we have a database connector okay so let's see the database connector setting so for this example i'm going to insert the values into uh, microsoft sql server 2014 server so you, you need to get the jar files downloaded for it and uh, it's free it's available maybe i can provide you the link for the same in the video description so once you have those jar files you need to get that imported to your project so you need to right click the project build path add external archives and you can see that we have the jar files over here the executable jar files so you need to open this so i have already imported it so you can see that there is a whole created by the name reference libraries which will have the jar file over here so so once you have the jar file over here in the driver class name if you type com dot microsoft it is searching So you will have the, not this one, okay, let me type the whole thing. So you, the, the driver class name is com dot microsoft dot sql server dot jdbc dot sql server drive. So just search with, uh, okay, we have it over here. Just double click it and it will be loaded over here. And you need to provide the database url as well so the syntax is as like this so jdbc colon sql server you need to provide the uh, database type slash the ip or the host name of the database the port number in which it is hosted and you should provide the username the password and the database name so this is what we have provided over here and uh, just to test connection you can click this test connection button it will say if the connection is ok or not it will just connect to the database and it will check if the credentials and the port has been correctly provided it is perfect and uh, in the operations you have different types of operations insert you have update you have you can uh, invoke a store procedure you can delete so for this example we are going to insert values into the database okay next we have a 
type parameterized and uh, dynamic so uh, i will explain it in a separate video about the differences on this okay so we have the st statement insert into the table participant name age country and email and for the values that we are providing are the session variable values okay so now we can deploy this flow so meanwhile we can go to the soap ui console so we are going to hit the local host on 8087 db insert and we have query parameters name as karthik age 28 country india and the email id is my email id personal email id so let's go and check if the project is deployed and it is deployed successfully so we ha don't have any records over here now let me post a request So we have posted it. Now let me refresh this, and you can see that it has been loaded successfully over here. And the console, you can we have a logger component which logs the parameters that we extracted from the query parameters. So this is how you use the database connectors. So we will be seeing about more about database connectors in my future videos. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching. Bye.